Hello guys, welcome to Minecraft. My name's Loader and throughout the uh, these few episodes what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tutorial to show anyone who's new to Minecraft uh, what it's all about, uh, why it's so uh, freaking amazing um, and basically just um, tips to get you started um, on your own survival mode. Um, so the first thing you want to do, yeah, you come to this home menu which is uh, quite basic but it doesn't need to be that complicated, it doesn't have much uh, much to do. Uh, first thing you'll notice is you've got the options menu. Uh, in here you can change all of these settings actually in the game so uh, you don't need to worry too much about uh, getting all of these down right. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to set the render distance on normal, uh, graphics on fast just uh, to save my computer a little bit. Um, brightness I'm going to put on bright. Um, that really helps when you're in the game you'll notice there's a few uh, quite a lot of caves and it, if you've got the brightness down too much it tends to be uh, quite a bit quite dark but um, adjust that to suit yourselves um, the controls um, I'll, I'll talk you through them as we go but first thing you want to do is select on single player and then you'll notice here this is where your uh, list of worlds will be uh, as you can see here I've got nothing here because I haven't got any worlds saved um, so let's start by creating a new world so obviously you create click create new world and it will come up with world name um, you can name this whatever you want it's good uh, good to give it a memorable name just in case you decide on creating loads of worlds so for this one I'm just going to call it uh, tutorial um, and then here you've got different game modes survival is what we're going to be doing it's basically starting off day one with absolutely nothing and then uh, mining and crafting and we'll go on to uh, we'll go on to speak about what they actually mean but uh, you've got survival hardcore this is the same as survival but uh, oh, as it says here same survival mode but uh, it's locked at the hardest difficulty which means there's going to be a lot of um, creatures and a lot of uh, yeah a lot of monsters around to try and kill you and as soon as you die your um, your world is deleted so that's only for the extreme players the final one is creative this is basically what it says you have unlimited resources you can fly around wherever you want and you can destroy blocks instantly this is awesome for creating your own uh, if you want to be really creative or just try some stuff out in in the in the minecraft world without actually having to mine the resources and chop down trees etc etc so give that a try if you uh, if you want um, it gives you more world options these um, in here you can put uh, a world seed and whatever you put in here um, whatever you put into this uh, field, it'll change. It'll change the uh, type of world that's generated. So, well, that's a lie. It'll always be the same type of world, but it just uh, changes the terrain slightly. So, if we try again for, uh, let's do that tutorial. Uh, generate structures on. We want structures because we want to be able to visit villages and dungeons, etc., etc. Uh, world type at the moment there is only two. There's default, which will give you the um, default landscape, such as mountains, snow, deserts, forest, and the new one that's been introduced recently, which is jungle. Um, so we'll leave that on default. The other one is super flat, and all that is is just a completely flat world, just with uh, just with about a four layer thick. Um, world of grass so that's good for if you want to go on creative and you want to create some structures but at the moment we're going to leave that on default okay and then we'll click on create new world and this will create the new world for us and it shouldn't take too long there we go and this is the uh, let me just show you um, okay down the bottom here you've got the uh, I don't really know what you call it I suppose it's your um, your hub really um, these hearts along here are your health. Um, they'll go down by half a heart each. So if you get hit, um, if you get, if you fall from a high place or you get attacked by a monster, then these will go down. And when they reach zero, you'll die and you'll spawn back at this location where I'm stood now, because this is your spawn point. On your right-hand side, you've got the uh, hunger meter. So this again goes down in halves, so uh, half a point equals half a point. Um, and when this goes to zero, uh, you won't die straight away, but it will take down your health really fast. Uh, the other thing to note is just underneath, there's this uh, there's this bar at the bottom uh, between these uh, boxes and the health and hunger. 
This is your experience. So you gain experience by killing monsters and killing animals. Um, I'll show you a bit more about that as we um, as we develop along the game. Uh, finally, the squares along the bottom here. This is your inventory. Well, it's the it's like kind of like your hotkeys for inventory. So you keep uh, keep in here the items which you collect. I'll quickly show you what I mean by that now. Uh, as it says up in the top right hand corner, you can press E to open your inventory. Uh, and this will open up, uh, oh, this, this is your character, you can change this on the Minecraft website by logging in. Uh, down here you can have armor types, so you can put armor in here to equip to your character. Um, I'll show you a bit more about that later. Um, so if we, oh there's a sheep. Um, Alright, all you need to do to, de to destroy a block, you need to left click it. So, and and it's always the destructive button. So if you want to attack the sheep, you left click, and that will uh, that will attack it. Um, so as you see, I've I've destroyed the the grass block, which is turned into dirt, and then I've picked that up. So it's in my inventory down here. And to place any blocks in your inventory or to use an item, you right click. So right click places that block back down, and then you can left click and pick it back up. Uh, you don't need to keep clicking, you just need to hold down the clicker, the clicker, the left mouse button. You hold that down and that will collect the item for you. So, the first thing you want to do on your first day on Minecraft is um, you want to uh, collect wood, is probably your most important thing at first. The reason we want to collect wood is we, oh, there we go, achievement. Um, the reason we want to collect wood is because we want to create a crafting table, and I'll show you exactly what that does in just just a moment. Okay, one of the main premises of Minecraft is, as as the name suggests, you mine and you craft things. Um, so to to start crafting, what you need to do is go into your inventory, select the uh, the item that you want to craft. So this one we're going to select wood, and you'll see in here it has wooden planks. So if uh, if we just show you. Uh, so you pick this up by left clicking. If you want to drop one, you right click, and that will just drop the one. If you if they're all there and you want to half them, right click, and that will separate them out into halves. So you'll get the hang of it as you go along. But for the time being, if we just put one one uh, wood in there by right clicking, and then you you uh, you've got the wooden planks here. You just left click on them once, and that brings you the wooden planks. Uh, and then you use the wooden planks to put them in a square fashion that will give you a crafting table there we go, a new achievement benchmarking and what you want to do with the crafting table is, we'll come down here um, okay we'll quickly pop along here do, 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 and put that there okay and then it will see, you'll see you've got a 3x3 three three square instead of a 2x2 two two square, that gives you more um, more options and more thing um, more uh, more items to, that you're able to craft. So, using the wooden planks that we've created before, you want to put um, one in there, one in there, and then you have the option for sticks. So we select that, bring it down here. So now you can see we've got eight sticks. Um, you can also stack things up. So if you've got two pile of wooden planks, drag it across. You've got eight planks there. Okay, which is pretty straightforward, I think. Um, Okay, uh, oh, let me just turn this audio down. Music, it's a bit loud for my liking. Um, okay. And what we need to do as well is we need to collect some stone to start creating uh, a furnace. So what we do is we put two sticks there and we put the wooden planks across the top and you can see that that's created a wooden pickaxe. Um, most of the general uh, the general principle behind crafting is make it um, put the items where you like um, put the items in an order which you think looks like the item you want to craft. So here we've got one on the end and two sticks. That makes a wooden shovel. And okay, so now we want to go away and find some stone. So you can either look around for stone, uh, which will take quite a while. These sheep are quite loud. Um, you can either look around for stone or you can use your shovel and you can dig down. When you dig down, um, let, one second, let me just turn my volume down a little bit, it's a bit too loud, there we go. Okay, once you dig down you're always, always going to find stone, whatever it takes, uh, however long it takes. So, and then we switch to our pickaxe and this grey stuff here is stone. 
you just uh, hit that a few times. Oh, and we seem to have discovered a cave already. And if you can see down there, that um, orangey block, orangey browny block inside the grey, that is iron. Well, it's actually an iron ore, but we'll show. You, um, we'll move on to that more in later episodes. Um, so the main things you want to focus on, you really want to get a shelter set up before night time, because night time is when all the mobs, uh, all the monsters, uh, FYI, in this game, uh, monsters, um, like zombies, skeletons, um, what else are there? Zombies, skeletons, uh, spiders, and uh, there's creepers. Stay away from creepers, honestly. Creepers are, they're like green things, and if you hear them go, that means they're going to blow up, and they will blow up like like a like a block of dynamite okay now we've got six um, you see in here we've got six cobblestone what we're going to do with that cobblestone we're going to right click on our crafting table and create a square all the way around oh fail <laughs> okay I need two more I need two more cobblestone because I'll show you why okay so let's go back down into our little temporary mine oh need that okay so we've got eight so you just need eight to create your first furnace and okay what we do is create them in a square and then we have a furnace so we can drag that drag that down uh, and if you look at the sun the sun is your way to t is um, how you tell what the time is so it's around about just after midday because it rises in the east falls in the west just like in real life okay so as um, as we progress, we want to build a shelter because um, zombies, uh, well, all the mobs, i.e., monsters, will. Uh, oh, I'm using the wrong tool. You really want to get a an axe to chop down the uh, the wood, and I'll show you how to create an axe in just a second. You can use your hand; it's just a lot faster if you use a tool, if you use the right tool for the job. Okay, and one more. Yeah, just get this. There we go. Okay, let's head back over to our crafting table because we're going to turn this all into wooden planks. Um, there's not much. You, uh, well, in fact, there's nothing you can do with wood. Um, well, but I'd recommend keeping hold. Okay, we've got eight wooden planks there. We'll keep five. Uh, keep five wood. And the reason I'm going to keep five wood is we'll place down this um, place down this furnace, and you'll right click to enter the furnace, and you want to put wood at the top. And let's put three wooden planks at the bottom, or two wooden, no, there's three in there. Okay, so we'll put that, and then you can see it's setting fire to the wood, and it will turn the wood into charcoal. And what we're going to use charcoal, f charcoal for, I'll show you right now, is we go into our crafting. You can either go into the crafting table or into your inventory to craft, and you place one stick and one charcoal, and that gives you four torches. And the reason you use torches is during the night time, um, the mobs or monsters, they will always stay away from light. So if they see you, they will come into the light, but um, they they will never spawn where there is light or where there's enough light. So um, there's two options available to you to create your first shelter. The first thing, the main the main method I would recommend is just digging into the side of a hill because it it requires very few resources um, to to create a, a decent structure. Okay, so what we're going to do as well. All right. By the way, if you need to run, it's just du just double tap the forward button, which is W. I believe you can use the arrows as well. No, you can't. But for a f full view of the uh, the controls, please go into the controls menu, which uh, I showed you before, which is press escape to access the menu, options, and controls. And it shows you on, on there all of the controls that you can use throughout the game. So let's just carry on killing these sheep. And remember to kill, to be destructive in any way, it is left click. So you need to just left click. And just keep chasing them down until they die. They take uh, different amounts of hits every time, sometimes the same. Uh, okay, so now we've got three wool. You can see in the inventory we've got three wool there. So let's head back over to our crafting table. And what we want to make, um, want to put three wooden planks and three wool. And there we that will craft us a bit a bed. So now we've got that bed. We'll put it in our inventory. We'll go into our little um, like temporary shelter. This is going to be temporary because. 
Um, the main thing with Minecraft is you can be creative as you want, you can let your mind run run riot and just create whatever you like, but for the time being we're going to create something nice and simple just to show you the idea um, and give you a quick little heads up on Minecraft. Okay, so there we go, we've got a little hollowed out room and you can see it's the sun's nearly reached the bottom, so it's nearly the end of the first day. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to collect up our crafting table, which we can do using any tool or you can use your fist. Co collect up the uh, the furnace and we want to go into our house. We want to... Um, you don't have to put the items down, you can carry them around with you, but for the time being what we're going to... We're just going to put them down. So there we go. We've got crafting table on the right, bed in the middle, and furnace on the left. Um, okay, and you can see it's getting pretty dark. So what we're going to do is put down our torches to give us a bit of light. Um, let's put it, put one there, and one there. And it's best to put them uh, all the way around your house, just so that the mobs aren't tempted to come near your house. Okay, um, I've still got. I think I've still got enough. Yeah. Okay, we've still got some wooden planks left, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over to our furnace. Oh, oh, sorry, no we're not. Completely lied about that. Okay, we're going to go over to our crafting table, and you want to put um, the wooden planks in a figure like this, like three and then three, and then you've got yourself a wooden door. And if we turn around quickly, put the wooden door in the front, so now we've got a door to protect us against the outside world. Um, I've just realised it's going to get dark in here, so we're going to make a few more torches. I'll put them down there. So we've got one there, one there. And remember, it's right-click to place things. So as we've got a bed, we're going to just sleep throughout the night. And so that's how you survive your first day in Minecraft. I hope you've uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching the first in the video of tutorials um, to get you going and get you started on Minecraft. And that's all from me now, and I look forward to seeing you in the second episode where we're going to cover day two, and things to move on to after your first night. So, see you later, cheers for watching, see you later. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in episode two.